my channel and welcome to today's video. Varicose veins, spider veins, bulging veins, pronounced veins. Today I have a wonderful, quick and easy remedy for you that you can use on your veins to massage the veins and it's gonna have to shrink those bulging veins. It's also gonna have to fade those spider veins. So if you're suffering from any of these kinds of veins, whether you call them bulging veins, spider veins, varicose veins, this video is for you, so continue watching. In this remedy, I'm going to be using some fresh carrots and carrots as vitamin C. It also have an ingredient called beta carton and beta carton helps to deal with inflammation. Therefore, when applied to your varicose veins, it's going to help with the circulation of the blood, causing the varicose veins to shrink. Our next ingredient is apple cider vinegar and apple cider vinegar when used on varicose veins is going to help with circulation also. Apple cider vinegar is going to help to diminish the bulging appearance of the veins and it is also great when used on spider vein. The next ingredient is aloe vera gel and aloe vera gel is known to help many skin conditions. It's good for eczema it's good for dry skin it's good for getting rid of spots and blemishes and this is also great for circulation now when mixed with other ingredients aloe vera is going to work wonders for your varicose veins it's going to help with the circulation it's going to help with any form of a pain that you might be feeling from the veins and it's going to help to shrink the bulging veins the next ingredient is lavender oil and this is essential lavender oil. Lavender oil is very calming, is very smoothing to the skin and when mixed with the other ingredient it's going to play a vital role in getting rid of your varicose veins. Lavender oil is also great to use on spider veins. It's going to help with the circulation, it's going to help with the pain and it's also going to help to decrease any form of swelling. Our final ingredient is tomato and you can choose to use either green tomato or ripe tomato. Now tomato also is going to play a wonderful role in getting rid of your varicose veins. Tomato helps to lighten the skin, it helps with the circulation, it is also going to help with the swelling and it's also going to help to clear the dark spots that is caused from your varicose veins. For this remedy, you're going to need a blender since we're going to be blending the ingredients. You're also going to need a strainer. You're also going to need some cotton pads for application. Now the first thing we're going to prepare is the carrot. Preparing the carrot is pretty easy. We're just going to remove the top. You can choose to scrape the carrot or you can choose to just wash the carrot. For me, I like to just wash the carrot since most of the nutrients are in the hotter part of the carrot. So I'm just going to wash and chop the carrot. And I'm using a medium carrot. Now carrot is a little hard. If you want, you can use your juicer to juice the carrot since we're only interested in the juice from the carrot. So now that we have our carrot chopped, a medium carrot, which is about a half a cup. Now since the carrot is very hard, I'm just going to add a little touch of water, a few tablespoons of water for easier blending. This is our blended carrots and now we're going to strain since we're only going to be using the juice. So here is the carrot juice and now we're going to prepare our aloe vera gel. For our aloe vera we're going to use about an ounce of our aloe gel. And this is good to extract the gel, it's pretty easy. We're going to cut both of the sides and this is what it looks like up close. So we're just going to go right under the skin, upper skin, under the lower skin. And there you have the aloe vera gel. So here we have our aloe gel. You don't need more than this. That's good enough. Next, we're moving on to our tomato. 
and I'm using half of a medium tomato. Just gonna chop the tomato for blending also. Just chop. Tomato is ready. I'm gonna mix the tomato with our halo gel and I'm gonna blend the both of this together. So we're gonna put these in the blender. And here we have our blended halo and tomato and we're gonna strain. Now you could make halo and tomato juice to do a lot of things. You could make this, put it in your fridge to add to your facial. You could use it to wash your face. You could add some milk to this. You can also choose to add some almond milk. You could add some yogurt to this and you could use this on your face. However, for our varicose veins, we're gonna be using it with the other ingredients that I mentioned. So now that we have all the ingredients ready, we are gonna put our varicose vein treatment together. Our first go is for our aloe and tomato juice, and I'm gonna be using three tablespoons of the aloe and tomato mixture. That's one, two, three. Next, I'm moving on to our carrot juice, and you wanna make sure to give it a stir. And we're gonna use two tablespoons of our carrot juice. So there we have two tablespoons of carrot juice. We have a little leftover, just pour it in. Moving on to our apple cider vinegar. I'm using one tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar. We're adding in this. And for our witch hazel, I'm gonna be using one tablespoon of witch hazel. Now if you do not have witch hazel, double up on the apple cider vinegar. And for our lavender essential oil, we're gonna use a few drops. I like to use a lot of this in it, so I'm probably just gonna use my Discretion and I would say about 15 to 20 drops, all right? Depending on the mouth you have. Mine is very difficult to come out, so it seems as if I'm putting in a lot, but not really. Now once this is done, we're gonna give this a stir. And you don't wanna use any metal spoon in this. If you have a wooden spoon, go ahead and use that instead of a metal. You can also choose to use a plastic spoon for mixing. So you're gonna blend this and we're gonna blend well. If you want to really and truly blend, you could put this back in your blender and give it a little whiff and then it will be ready. And this have a wonderful, refreshing herbal scent to it. And now that the treatment is ready, you're not gonna use it right away. What you're gonna do, you can choose to pour this in a glass jar also. You're gonna cover this. Make sure it is tightly closed. And you're gonna put this in your refrigerator for about 48 hours. What we're doing right here, we're letting all the ingredient infused so you want to make sure that it's like it's fermented. So you're going to leave it in the refrigerator at least 48 hours and then this is good to use. After 48 hours, you're going to take it out and you're going to give it a stir again and then it is ready to use. Now to use your varicose veins treatment, you're gonna take a cotton ball or a cotton pad, you're gonna dip it in the treatment and you're gonna apply it to the veins. Now you do not want to double dip in this treatment, so you're gonna take a little in another container, pour this in another container, just the amount you're gonna use in a separate container, wrap this back, put it away, keep it in your refrigerator for about 10 to 15 days and now you're gonna just take your the cotton pad, 
you're gonna dip your cotton pad in and in this you could double dip because this is what you're using and wherever you have your varicose veins you're gonna just apply the treatment and you're gonna lightly massage the areas of your varicose veins now just massage it on, dip back in. And this, as I said, could be used anywhere on your body that you have the varicose vein. Now, once you apply this, you leave it like that, let it hair dry, do not rinse off, wear it on for a couple of hours, as I said, preferably overnight, up on the rising in the mornings, you are gonna rinse off. Now, after using this, you should definitely see some result within a week. Now, continue to use this, and before you know it, your bulging vein, your varicose veins, and even your spider veins will slowly diminish, slowly shrink, or slowly disappear, okay? So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments and thumbs the video up if you like it. Also, if this was the first time watching, you want to see more of these videos, look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Click on it and you will be subscribed. Also, you could click on my face, which will take you to my channel page. Once you're on my channel page, click on playlist. Just browse around, search for whatever video or whatever topic that you might be interested in. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.